Hey, what's going on, y'all? Knowledge here, coming at y'all with another video. Um, this is a video response to one of my subscribers, I'm Throw94. Uh, you know, this brother been checking me out a long time since I had a uh, Knowledge 562. You know, I remember when he did that uh, video response to me on um, I Missed the 90s. So, you know, uh, shout out to him. Y'all go check out his videos. You know, he got a lot of that political shit on there, you know, just speaking the truth. Uh, his link will be in the description box. But uh, he wanted me to re uh, respond to his video, Conscious Capitalist. And he basically was talking about how you have a lot of these people here on YouTube and just all around the world who claim to be conscious and claim to be, you know, on the up and up and, you know, talking about all this positive shit. But really, they out to get the dollar bill. And, you know, he just basically, you know, speaking what he felt about that and, you know, how... You know, he understands that in America, you know, you have to have money to survive. It's just the way it is. And, uh, you know, I, I agree with you, man. You know, there is a lot of people out here that, you know, claim to be conscious when they're really out here just to, you know, shit on people or try to gain some money. But also, that being said, I feel like all of us, you know, here on YouTube... Or capitalist in some type of way. Now, we not, might not be capitalists, you know, trying to get money. You know, some of us get on here, you know, to try to have some type of um, gratitude and helping someone. You know, you have people on here who just, you know, want to get their thoughts and feelings out and it helps them, you know, throughout life and it gets them through the day just by venting here on YouTube. And then you have people who get on YouTube and talk about, you know, all this, uh, you know, so-called positive shit and act like they for the black community when really they just doing, you know, the trending topic or trying to, you know, rouse some people up so they can gain some subscribers and possibly get two, three dollars from YouTube from being a YouTube partner. So, you know, I mean, they're all around, you know, they, there's different type of capitalists, you know, I mean, you were right when you said that, you know, people need money to survive here in America. Yes, that, you know, that's the way it is. It's sad, but, you know, hey, we do need money. You have some of the most brightest and intelligent minds that you know have sold out for you know the dollar bill. You look at somebody like um, uh, Huey P, somebody who started out you know in the Black Panther Party, and then you know later on down the line got messed up in the wrong crowd. You know his mind started changing, and he started trying to take over the drug trade. The same shit that he was trying to keep out of his community. So you know it's people change, and you know people. You, you just got to know who you are and, and, and who to believe or who not to believe. I'm not saying, you know, he, he wasn't a great man because he was. He just got sidetracked for a minute. But, um, you know, I agree with you, you know, about people, you know, being fake conscious people on here. I mean, me, I don't really consider myself conscious. I mean, I'm conscious about my actions and the way I live my life, but... I don't come on here and try to act like, you know, I'm Mr. Perfect or, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pro-black and all that shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm the type of guy, you know, I talk to anybody with some sense. Anybody who, you know, is a good person, you treat people right, got some goddamn sense in their head and, 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 and sees things for what it is. You know, hey, I don't have a problem with talking to those type of people, hanging with them or, you know, being friends with them. I'm just, you know, I'm about black progression. I think that, you know, for over 500 years, black people have been held down in this country. And, you know, I, I believe in us, you know, reaching to the top, you know, uh, uh, us bettering our education, us bettering, you know, our uh, economic state, you know, us getting out of the projects and not being the, the high majority of people who were incarcerated working for 35 cents in a white man's new plantation. You know, I believe in black progression. You know, and, and, you know, a lot of times when I say that, or, you know, I'll say I'm part of the um, organization, for y'all that don't know, um, 100 Black Men, I've mentioned in several of my videos, you know, when I say that, they say, oh, you pro-black, you one of them, uh, the militant niggas and shit, and that's not even how I am, you know, one of my best friends is a white guy, but, you know, it's just, that's the way people perceive you when you believe in speaking up for your people, you believe in, you know, black progression. You know, as long as you clown around and acting a buffoon and shit, you all right in everybody's book. But the minute you start speaking for your black community and, and you act like you got some sense, you know, it's, 
that's when you know you start getting the, the criticism and the judgment. But uh, you know, hey, it's, it's capitalists all over. You know, America was built on you know capitalism. You look at that little crazy motherfucker, Chris, Christopher Columbus, stole this country. So you know, what I mean. Since America's been around, it's been about, you know, divide and conquer. It's been about bullying. It's been about, you know, capitalists and trying to keep certain people as a permanent underclass. Look at how they label black folks and, and you know, Hispanics and everybody else of color as minorities. But we're really the majority. We're not fucking minorities. The white people the damn minorities, but we don't really control anything in this country. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I've learned to try to change, you know, how I live my life and try to, you know, change somebody, you know, that might be, you know, having the wrong mindset or might be going down the wrong path. And, you know, I just try to, you know, do what I can do. But at the end of the day, I know that I can't change the world. You know, if I can change, you know, uh, uh, 5, 10, 15 people in my personal life or here on YouTube, hey, my job is done. And that's the way you got to look at it. You're not going to change everybody. You, everybody doesn't give a shit. So, I mean, you know, it's just the way it is. But, uh, you know, good video, man. I feel like we need to, you know, shut these cats down and, and put them on blast. These people who are out here trying to get the dollar bill and faking in front of the funk, you know, and not really about the shit they talking about. But, um, you know, that's my response, man. Y'all go check out I'm Throw 94 Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah, y'all. Another thing I want to add on, uh, I got a clip in the description box of uh, Malcolm X talking about black economics. And there's two cats on here that always say this. It's me and Harvey Superboy. Control your fucking dollar. And, you know, I keep saying it because, you know, the only way we going to progress in this country and actually own something and start creating jobs and start, you know, just moving up in America economically is by controlling our dollars. You know, shit, stop buying the fucking Air Jordans and making these billion dollar industries rich. Control your goddamn dollar. But uh, y'all check that out, y'all sub and all that good stuff. I'm out, y'all. Peace.